Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. We have our first showdown upgrade locked in for the 96 rated Christian Erickson showdown card. Now, the upgrade hasn't exactly happened yet, but I hope that it happens either today or tomorrow in the coming days, of course, with the Manchester United win over Liverpool. Big game yesterday, a lot of fun, crazy game. Also, this has me hopeful for some more showdown SBCs in the upcoming days. Because again, if you remember at the beginning of the preseason promo, we had a loading screen that showed that showdown car design. Hopefully that means EA plan to release some more upcoming games this weekend. I want to take a look at those. Had some potential showdowns that could come as early as maybe today, maybe tomorrow, based off of games that maybe are on Saturday or Sunday this upcoming weekend. Also, the 85 times 10 unfortunately, was not released in limited repeatable. I don't understand. Also, some people were struggling to find that SBC yesterday. It is under the live tab, not under the footies tab. So some people were struggling to find that since, of course, that was not released as a part of the footies promo as it was the past like three weeks. But unfortunately, now we, we can do it three times a day, which is a step up. But it's still an L, man. And it's still an L at this time of the year. Was really hoping that EA would move up the unlimited repeatable date, right? I remember last year it was in early September when it was finally unlimited repeatable. But EA, I mean, you're stretching this thing out by now. So that's the biggest L. But today, a WSBC could be returning. That's the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick. Came out last Tuesday, and this one had some pretty big market movements that happened because of it. I want to take a look at that today. Also, look at the fodder market because we did have a lot of movements yesterday. And a lot of prices went up, especially on some lower tier cards with that 85 times 10 just being re-released in general. So we're going to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for that showdown upgrade, and you know if they're going to drop some more showdown cards, hit the thumbs up on the video for that. Also subscribe if you are new let's take a look just one second and talk showdowns because that is all the hype and that's what everybody is hyped about right now because of this upgrade a lot of people did darwin nunez and i'm glad that i did both because they weren't that expensive but this was the one that truly inside i wanted to get upgraded and erickson is gonna get himself a saucy upgrade plus two this is what his card could look like now i retweeted this and i was like ea you got to give this guy a dynamic image, right? We need a dynamic image on these showdown cards. It just makes him so much better. But, I mean, look at the potential stats. If we get a plus two on Erickson, I'm talking 99 passing, maybe even 99 dribble. If they want to give him a plus three in dribbling, he should get plus two all around and then plus three in two different stats. That's usually how the plus two upgrades work on the showdown card, which is, I believe, how they've calculated it here. Um, you know, it could be even some bigger upgrades than what is shown here. So that could be great. And I'm very excited for an Erickson. Hopefully the upgrade happens. I'm going to say tomorrow. I feel, I feel like tomorrow, two days after the game, is probably the most realistic time when they would upgrade this card. So if you have Erickson, GG's. He's definitely going to be a mainstay in my team, at least for right now, because that upgrade is going to be massive now also as a part of the big game yesterday this is just a kind of a trading tip that you see this happen all of the time during the year of course yesterday Rashford had a really good game uh Sancho had a really good game and you know there's just a lot of hype for United in general this happens a lot with UCL games uh with the live cards but even with cards that are not live there's a really big fixture that a lot of people are focused in on a lot of times if a player has a, sp a special card maybe if it's not even live People after the game will gravitate on FIFA. They'll go home or, or watch the game and then get on FIFA and just want to use that card that they saw and that player that they saw perform really, really well in real life. And Rashford was the great example of that yesterday. He was just chilling between like 180 and 200,000 coins for most of the day, 190K after content. After the United game, he went from 190K all the way up to 220,000 coins. And on Xbox, he went from like 190 to 245. So, you know, even though this is not a live card, this is just something to kind of remember as we even get into FIFA 23, this happens with gold cards, with informs, and especially it happens with promo cards that are out of packs during the year. But when there's a big game that's happening, whether it's Champions League related, whether it's not just a league game, there's a lot of hype around these cards that again, imitate the real life player. The real life player does well, even if it doesn't mean an upgrade for the FIFA card. Sometimes people go out and buy that card off the market just because 
their hype for that player and for the outcome of whatever game has happened. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. Not that a lot of people are trying to trade with the Rashford at this point, but stuff like that, it's just good to notice trends and kind of learn stuff like that on the FIFA market. So again, in the showdown conversation though, like we mentioned, there was a loading screen before preseason that showed the showdown card design on the loading screen. Also, it showed the moments card design, right? And we've gotten a lot of those moments players. We've only had one showdown though. So hopefully, I mean, it could be as early as today or tomorrow. I'm hoping that EA Sports drop another showdown. I think the potential of that's pretty high. If you think back to last year in preseason as well, the showdown SBC is, is something that were a big part of that promo. And if you take a look at some of the upcoming games this weekend, there's a lot of potential. Now, one thing I'm going to note is we have had either transfer players or showdown players for every single league except for League Un. And that's why I'm kind of looking to this game on Sunday the 28th between PSG and Monaco. This would be a perfect opportunity for EA Sports to drop a Renato SBC for a PSG Renato. Now, I'm not entirely sure who they, who they would drop for Monaco. I don't know who's had a big transfer there. Um, you know, some other games that could be potentially highlighted this weekend would be um, the Juve and Roma. Imagine a Dybala. And for Juve, maybe even like a Paul Pogba, even though he's injured and not playing, like the potential there for Juve and Roma for a showdown SBC is absolutely there, I think. So, you know, just kind of shouting out some ideas. I hope they do another weekend game this upcoming weekend. Chelsea, Leicester City, maybe. I think they might go away from the Premier League, though, for this next one. You know, um, Bayern and then Borussia Mönchengladbach, potentially they could they could drop one in there. Maybe like Mane versus, I'm not sure who Mönchengladbach brought in during the window as like a brand new player. But, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm just trying to look for some potential showdown SBCs that could be brewing for the next couple of days. So maybe go ahead and take a look at some of these upcoming games. Valencia, Atletico, Madrid, maybe potential there as well. Who knows? So we'll just have to see. But I hope that we get another one of those this week because, again, it's been a while since we had showdown cards, right? And, you know, even as I use this full Prem team, I got a couple in here, right? I've got the Kuti Romero. I've got the Wild Weghorst, a.k.a. Wegoat, down here in the bottom. I have Origi even in here. And, of course, Nunez and Eriksson. Showdown cards are some of the most fun upgradable cards in FIFA just because they're, you know, they're live, they get that upgrade, and they're a lot of times a pretty decent value too. So I would love to see more of those released during this week. So EA, definitely go ahead and do that if you will. Also watch the leaks because I would presume that we would have leaks from Foot Sheriff regarding uh, a brand new showdown player SBC if it's going to get released. Now let's talk about today, Tuesday, content-wise, because as I mentioned in the beginning, there was a really big SBC that was released last Tuesday. You know, we had the 93 plus shapeshifter player pick for a while, and then EA Sports finally just updated it last week and upgraded to the big boy version, the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick. And this SBC actually was very, very popular last week. If you guys remember, a lot of people were doing it and a lot of shapeshifter cards on the market went down in value get this rashford was is an example of a card that went down last week you know ramos was an example of a card that went down you know i'm, I'm looking at marcelo's price right now just as, as an example but a lot of your 95 plus shapeshifters specifically those ones that were getting packed the most out of that sbc took a hit in price because so many people were going and doing that squad building challenge now last week you know, it was it was released repeatable twice for seven days, and it, it's now 177,000 coins inside that SBC. A couple segments, 86 and 88 rated squad. As you can see, with fodder going up over the weekend, that SBC price has gone up as well. But I think if this was re-released today, it would also cause some pretty big market movements. I think that it would drop some of these shapeshifter cards that have actually gone up a lot since they're no longer in packs. Like Ramos was 100k. Last week, like when this SBC dropped, he went from 175k down to like 110 in the, in the days following afterwards. Then he went out of packs. Now he's back up to 168. I mean, again, this is a card that popped out of that 95 plus a lot. So maybe just be a little careful if you have some of these shapeshifters in your team. And then also from the fodder side of things, I would expect to see SBC fodder prices move up a little bit with an SBC like that. It was 86 and 88 rated squads, but once again, what do we know about the, that squad rating, right? A lot of people are getting those SBCs done with a couple high-rated cards and then filling in the rest of the squad with some lower-rated players. And again, 
we expected a pretty big boost on fodder yesterday. I think fodder would go up even more today on Tuesday. What tradable SBC supply, like pack supply, would we get? We're done with the swaps tokens. We'll talk about that in a second. They released nine of them yesterday in one objective. So fodder could just kind of keep going up, right? Yesterday, Thomas Lamar, 1.9K all the way to 3.3. All of your 83s did very, very well yesterday. Some of your 84s did pretty well, but those 83s were the best ROI. We talked about that in yesterday's video for sure. Like, hey guys, 83s are definitely the best. Gabriel Jesus from 1.7K up to almost 3,000 coins as well. So big boosts in price on those cards. Probably going to go up a little bit again today. So you know, not crazy amounts, maybe like 1,000 coins per card, but a 95 plus shapeshifter would definitely be an SBC. People would have motivation to go out and do. And I think that's what it's going to take at this stage of the game for people to go out and actually get excited about an SBC. A lot of people are, you know, still trying to craft, you know, the Salah, or they're still trying to craft some of these other footies SBCs that are still kind of lingering here. But I feel like a 95 plus shapeshifter is one of those, one of the only gamble packs right now that a lot of people would have a motivation to get on the game and try out. Because again, that 95 plus shapeshifter pool and what it gives out is such a small player pool that you can get guys like Ginola, you can get the Ronaldo, the Messi, the Rashford, the Ramos, the Marcelo, the Di Natale, so many great players available from this and really a really good chance to pack them. So that's probably the biggest piece of content that I'm looking forward to again today. Of course, you got the 85 times 10 three more times. Um, again, just unfortunate that that was not unlimited repeatable, but EA is really just trying to drag this out as long as they can uh, at the moment. So that'll be biggest part of the content today. We do have an SBC expiring the 86 plus player pick, but if you're thinking about doing the 86 plus player pick, I would ask you why? Uh, because for an 87 rated squad, you might as well go do the player pick that is preseason batch one, because I'm pretty sure out of all the batch one players, it's a minimum 88 rated card. Uh, if you're doing this, or if you just do the shapeshifter player pick, both of these are cheaper and they give about the same or better value than that 86 plus player pick. So, you know, that's just kind of one thing. I think that's a very minute detail that SBC is expiring today. So I'm not expecting too much else unless EA were to release another player SBC or another like, you know, transfer card, which I feel like we've already had a couple. We've had Lukaku, we've had Gravenberch, and we have had Lewandowski. If they dropped another one, That'd be a lot in one week's time. So we'll just have to see if they do that. I feel like we maybe have one more coming our way later on this week. We'll just have to see. And that's probably the content for Tuesday today. But, you know, the, the player SBC being probably the lowest percentage possibility of all those things. Now, yesterday, let's talk a little bit more about this. Summer Swaps number four. They dropped the last nine tokens. They dropped eight like normal. And then they give you one token in total for completing it all. So biggest token grind right here. You now have nine. There's 17 tokens literally right here between all of these One Nation squad battles games. That's 17 tokens. That's like, you know, almost halfway to Ben Yedder. That's crazy uh, that so many of them are there. Uh, I think personally, I'm just going to get some of these One Nation League games done. I think if I finish this... I'll be basically at 10 tokens to the 86 plus player pick. But now we have had all 50 Summer Swaps 2 tokens released. Here's the graphic if you have not seen it. Once again, all 50 tokens have now been released. So no more expectations, no more of those, um, no more even of those like SBCs, right? Where you get like a tradable pack and it drops cards on the market and supplies fodder a little bit. You know, we're not expecting any of those anymore because... Uh, they're all gone, right? We have marquee matchups where there's a token. That's the only SBC token available at this time. The rest are in the 17 that are available in objective. So the final summer swaps to grind can be put in. The final shift can be put in. If you're trying to go for a Ben Yedder or some fodder tokens, whatever it may be, you are able to get those final tokens to get those players and get those rewards in. So that is nice. And one week from now, this is when all this goes away, right? Summer swaps, um, objectives go away and the rewards go away as well for probably what I would imagine is the last swap program of FIFA 22. Um, and what a good one it was. Just again, just to look back on this a W swaps promo from EA. So many of the ones recently have been so good um, in terms of 
the rewards for the grind ability that you have to put in at this stage of the game. So that's definitely a big W. Now, again, quick little market, just scenario talking point, I guess. Watch your shapeshifter cards. I bought these Marcellos on Sunday night, sold them uh, today, yesterday, last night, I guess you could say, 490K. Not really making too many coins there. Just kind of bought them to try it out, whatever. Like I said about SBC fodder, I would probably expect these guys to go up even further today. So buying them pre-content would most likely be the move, um, even though they're already up from where they were, like 1,000 coins. Like Lamar was 1.5, 1.6K yesterday is lowest, now 2.7. So even though some of these guys are up, club stock and before the content is probably the best way to go. I would assume they go higher today. And then like I said about the shapeshifter cards, especially those like 94, or sorry, the 95, 96 rated ones, kind of in that middle tier. Uh, that are going to get packed a decent amount today. Definitely keep an eye on their prices. Wow, Eden Hazard. Goodness gracious. This guy was like 50K a couple days ago. Now he's 80K. So definitely a rise on some of these shapeshifter cards, but that could be a little bit, uh, th th those prices could be dropped down today if there is a really nice 95 plus shape shifters player pick now other than that it's just grinding those fifa 23 rewards grinding the preseason cup i went six and four seven and three yesterday uh on my first day of cup so hopefully i can do good today and then actually you know what today on tuesday we're gonna get the last warm-up challenge so we'll all be getting oh wow this will be some nice untradeable fodder to do go do the um 95 plus shapeshifter with if you go into the warm-up challenge sbc first today before you do that player pick, you'll have an 85 times five and an 85 times 10. So what we'll be able to open four 85 times 10 today. Wow, look at that. So that's maybe one little tip. Go do the warm-up challenge SBC first, get your objective, get these two packs, and then you can go do the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick for a little bit of a value deal there, if you will. So then it's just kind of that, and we'll all be claiming our two rare gold players packs in FIFA 23. Uh, once you get those rewards done, starting on the Premier League objective as well, starting to get those games done. That's kind of the grind right now. If you're crafting any icons, if you're crafting any footies players, continue to make that grind happen. I mean, still 82 plus player picks are out, still the 85 times 10s make that grind very, very possible. So we'll see if we get any surprises today on Tuesday, but I'm not expecting any. The biggest surprise would be an early upgrade on this Ericsson card. So I'm going to be checking out and waiting for this because I will absolutely be using him in the Premier League game mode to get my FIFA 23 pack. So that's going to be the grind for today. But that's kind of the video for today, guys. I'm going to keep it a little bit shorter and sweeter since there's not as much going on. Don't need to take any more time of yours than I need to. But I hope you have a great Tuesday. If you did enjoy this video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Boot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.